reminds me. Nice going, boys. We'll hear from you in a couple of minutes. You know, ladies and gentlemen, last week I heard about a house in uh, New Jersey, just across the river there, that was haunted, actually haunted by ghosts. And I thought to myself, geez, why would ghosts want to live in New Jersey? <laughs> Nevertheless, and I went, hey, please, hold your applause. <laughs> Nevertheless, I decided uh, I'm going to take myself the uh, late night video camera crew. We're going to go out there. We're going to take a look around this haunted house in New Jersey. Here now is what we found. But this house is haunted. I feel it is. Yeah. How long have you lived here? Well, it'll be seven years in June. Seven years. And what, for, what was the first indication you had that it was haunted? My daughter was sitting in the kitchen, and the doors open and closed by themselves. Debbie, have you experienced any of this? I saw my sister with no head. You saw your sister with no head? <laughs> have you tried, uh, like, raid? Like spraying a lot of raid through the house? I don't, I don't want to alarm you two, but look over there. There's something spooky happening by the car. Look at that. Some kind of flying thing on that. Does he have his oh, hat? no, that's just my hat on the antenna. <laughs> All right, so, uh, Carol, this is uh, Lloyd Auerbach. What is it you, you do? We're looking at things that involve the human mind's interactions with people. You know, ghosts, ESP. Say I called you and I'm living in a house and I got goats flying through the kitchen just screaming bloody murder and, and the walls are actually dripping blood. What are you going to charge me for that? Generally between $75 and $100. Geez, that's dirt cheap. Of course it is. You know, when we drove by the house the first time out of one of these windows, I thought I saw Burt Parks. Hey. Say one word, I'll toss it out, see what you think. Martians. No. UFOs, maybe. So what will we do? I guess we're gonna now go through the house and you're gonna show us various locations and then you're gonna analyze stuff and we can talk about what we think may be going on. Right. Is it alright if I refer to this as the ghost house? If you want. Okay. We're now we're inside the ghost house. Look at this. <laughs> see anything like that a floating purse what we've been finding in cases recently is that in, in places where people report ghosts we often will find a higher than normal mm -hmm. uh, magnetic field with no reason whatsoever for it this reminds me of a story i have an uncle earl earl hoford so uh, uncle earl he's unloading sodas out there and the truck backs over him and they had to put a plate and he said and he's okay uh but then he would walk in his sleep and one morning we came downstairs and found uncle earl standing by the refrigerator with he had magnets and little uh, shopping notes stuck to his head yeah <laughs> That's a true story. Yes. Is that Harry Truman I see over there in the corner? <laughs> Is that former President Harry Truman? They called me most everything under the sun, but I didn't care as long as they couldn't prove it. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> there you go, Debbie. Hey. Yeah, let's see Debbie's room. Come on, Debbie. It's a mess. Is, it, is this it here? <laughs> see to make your bed? Debbie, clean your room or I'll bite your head off. No! Oh, oh, I, I thought I saw a ghost, but it, it was just a mess. So what happened up here? She flew. The same dog that heard the voice in the yard. She must have flew. Where we work, we have us a flying dog. You mentioned earlier one of the things you do is you read tarot cards. Yes, I do. Now, did you start doing this because of the ghosts? No. <laughs> Occasionally, if I concentrate very hard... This person's very critical the, the head of Shelley Duval appears and gives us lotto picks. Let's All try right. it now. All right. <laughs> Connecticut, play four. Oh, One, eight, zero, no three. Thank you, Shelley. Thank you very much for the tour of your house, and uh, I You're wish welcome. you all the best with your ghost. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yeah.